I am uh, Michael B. Beckwith, founder of the Agape International Spiritual Center. Uh, basically, uh, we're in our 35th year as a spiritual community. So I teach uh, meditation. I teach um, spiritual practitioners how to, how to, how to counsel. It's a broad-based spiritual community that has uh, tremendous uh, diversity and inclus inclusivity, and it's worldwide. And I've been doing this for over 35 years. I just completed uh, Alpha 5, so obviously I'm uh, in deep trust of this technology. The benefits are you're able to immediately get feedback as to the, the production of the Alpha, the different states of consciousness or meditations you're going into, so you're not guessing. It's not a, a guessing game. You're absolutely able to see, and then you're absolutely able to train yourself to maintain that, that expanded awareness. Now, the effects that it has in, in your personal life is, is fantastic, uh, just in terms of um, your ability to move through the world with, with greater ease, a greater sense of grace. Um, you're able to uh, go in the world, but maintain your higher state of awareness. Oftentimes, people are pulled by the world. The world determines their moods. The news, the news determines their moods. Other people determine their moods. But once you have a level of... Um, dominion over your attention, then the world can't determine your mood. You are sovereign being and you determine your own mood uh, based on your, your spiritual practice. So this assists with that. I return over and, and over again because it's the real deal. <laughs> because as I said earlier, you get immediate feedback. Days gone by, if you had a Zen teacher, they were very uh, sensitive and they could perhaps pop you with a stick at a certain point on your shoulder if you drifted. But with this technology, the nanosecond feedback you're getting is the right use of technology for expanded awareness. So, you know, I have a meditation practice, obviously, but coming here is not only a, a, a retooling, but it's actually creating a, a, a new baseline of expansion. Now basically, because you have the polygraph equipment on you as well as the biofeedback, uh, you can't lie to yourself. So you end up seeing what you need to work on. And when you uh, place your attention there uh, and begin to confront it and dissolving it, then there are other layers that are there that you have tucked away from, for many years, they begin to surface. And you're able to work on those samskaras, you know, those, those wounds as, as well. And so it's a constant, continual clearing and cleaning without guilt, you know, without a sense of foreboding about it. You're able to see it, call it by its real name, place your attention on it, and, and watch it dissolve. Yeah, uh, when I first arrived, uh, you know, I've been carrying a heavy load for a few years, dealing with some personal issues, and and obviously, we're most of the world's under a lockdown, and you know, there's a lot of ramifications of everything we've been going through. So I could I could feel carrying a load for a, for a while, you know, running a community. After the first day, there was an immediate a release of uh, toxins. You know, an immediate detoxification took place and I could feel my energy just being buoyant again. It's like, whoa, I'm back. <laughs> and that was just the first day, you know. Uh, and so, you know, obviously when we got to day three, that was a little difficult because the, the egoic structure was kicking in a bit and trying to block some of the insights that were occurring. But smooth sailing after that. And even though, you know, we're having this interview I don't know what time it is, it's possibly early in the morning, I still feel a tremendous amount of buoyancy and energy. I, I talked to someone and she stopped, she said, whoa, whoa, your, your voice, what's going on? You, there's all this energy is coming out of you right now. And, and, and uh, she immediately noticed that the individual that left Los Angeles 
you know, dragging <laughs> a little bit, who was quite different than the person she was talking to on the phone. And then immediately we would, there was you know, some things going on in the community that needed some of my attention. And I immediately went right to the solution without hesitation and said, this is exactly what we're going to do. And she said, oh, wow, it's a good idea. I'll get right on it. You know, so there was a tremendous clarity and energy at the same time. And it didn't, it was, it was effortless. It was just, just bubbled out of me effortlessly. I've loved every single training. You know, it's like saying, uh, what kid do you love best? You know, if you have children. You know, I loved every single uh, levels of, of alpha. I, did I do like the extra feedback. I do like the extra feedback. I even like the feedback of the ones I wasn't even supposed to get <laughs> until later, until alpha six. But I, I like all that feedback. I think that when you, you, you get the feedback, you're able to um, expand your awareness and actually assist in your own expansion. Well, I, I've gone through um, a situation with the IRS. I've gone through a personal situation that, that carried a, a great degree of loss. And at, going through here this week, everything was reframed. It, and this is not something I didn't know before I got here, but the embodiment of what I knew was more enhanced. And I was able to look at uh, two things I think are very important. One, there was no loss. I could, I could feel that there was, there was really not a loss. It's just a, a movement of energy for growth development and unfoldment. And this week, what I noticed, and I became very clear about this last night before I went to sleep, that I could see all these times in my life where there was an apparent attack or an apparent seeming loss in my life, followed by my, uh, uh, me embracing the next level of my destiny. So I could see that arc uh, up to present moment, which gave me an awareness that I'm about to go to another level of my own destiny. So it showed me all of that. So it, it provided uh, more than hope. It provided the deep uh, uh, activation of my faith that, that one, the universe is progressive. And when we, and it's a participatory universe. So I'm participating in it by working on myself so that I'm not really carrying any foreboding, a rancor, about what apparently happened to me because nothing happened to me. Everything happened for me, but I could feel it in my bones. I could feel it in my bones now. So I knew this before, but now I can feel it in my bones. Yeah. You're going to really change. If you do it, it's not an, an, an uh, observer situation. This is a participating technology. You're going to change. Anybody that wants to do this, it's not, it's not like going to a seminar and you get high for the weekend. You, know, you get some good information. You go home. You may or may not do the practices that the teachers have given you. If you go through this training, there's going to be real transformation in seven days. I mean, that's unless you just take off everything and run out of here, it's going to happen. It's scientific, you know, it's uh, spirituality meets technology, meets science. It works. Probably just my gratitude. I'm just very grateful that the technology exists. I'm grateful that I get to work with uh, Jim Hart, who's a genius and, uh, you know, pioneer, the, the pioneer in this field. I know there's some knockoffs running around out there in the world, but this is the original. And this is the man. And, and if anybody wants to do this kind of work, this is where they should do it. <laughs>